Hello, it's Tuesday afternoon and on Sunday, I during my lazy Sunday chat, sorry about that noise, during my Sunday lazy chat, I mentioned these. Kirkland Signature Peanut Butter Pretzels, Valencia Peanut Butter Filled Pretzel Nuggets. Now, I was recommended those by Mr. Peter Hodge and another of the recommendations was I try it with a stout. Now, I didn't have one at the time. So I'm going to do a bit of a review as I've got a stout and I'm also going to do a bit of a review of this because I've not had this before I've not seen it before either It's Black Sheep Brewery Milk Stout uh, An award-winning silky creamy stout packing notes of chocolate vanilla and coffee brewed with lactose and a robust malt blend This milk stout offers a satisfying sweetness that cuts against the light bitterness brought together through an irresistible velvet texture 4.4% uh, so I'm going to do a, kind of a double review here, beer and beer snack. So let's get this cracked open, nice little hiss there. Uh, um, it's not a, it's a commercial beer obviously, I'm doing a review of, so I'm not that bothered about looking at head and all that kind of malarkey because I assume it'll be spot on, clarity and all that more about what it kind of tastes like. Now, I can't remember how much this is. It's probably about, about 151. Yeah, probably about 180 I'd have thought now. Price of beers these days. Uh, I, I got it from Sainsbury's. Right. Has a bit of a smell, a bit of a chocolatey roast smell as you'd expect. Um. Average body, it's not thin like a Guinness. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a richer, creamier stout than that. Chocolate, dark chocolate, more like, well, it's a milk stout, right? It's more like Bonville chocolate to me. Um, and with the bitterness that you get with the Bonville as well. Hmm. So that's rich, dark, bitter, quite creamy on the mouth feel, but I don't notice any milk. Yes. So let's have some of their sweets, some of their goodies. I know I mentioned these before, and I, I think these are going to be perfect with that. If Peter Hodge says it, it's probably right. So they're quite salted, little pretzel parcels. filled with a nice little smattering of peanut butter and that coats quite well that, that stout is very bitter yeah for a milk stout that was quite bitter for me that's cleaned up nicely with the, the peanut butter it takes away that bitterness yeah I can see how that works really well. Getting the dark, roastiness, the bitterness. And then you can take it away with the salted pretzel. With a touch of peanut butter. Yeah. I mean, you do get peanut butter stouts. I'm surprised there haven't been Omnipolo. I'm looking at you here. I haven't done a, a salted pretzel peanut butter stout yet. I imagine they have, but I just haven't noticed. Yeah, they're very, very Moorish. I think I said that last time, but they were definitely with a, this milk stout. As for the milk stout itself, no. Doesn't work for me. I find it too bitter. A satisfying sweetness that cuts against the light bitterness. Nah, it doesn't. That peanut butter gets everywhere. <laughs> Give you a lot of facial exercise as well. For me, that's over bitter. Certainly for a milk stout, I expect a, a bit of sweetness there, and I'm not getting. Only sweetness, as I said, the chocolate's quite, quite 
quite a dark chocolate, very little sweetness. I maybe should have opened the other one I got. The old uh, Jet Black Heart on Nitro. So it's a Nitro one, Vanilla Oatmeal Stout. Now I've had Jet Black Heart before and I quite enjoy it. I don't think I've had it as a, a Nitro beer from Brewdog. And I also got this, I've never seen this before either. Although I believe it's been going away. Pardon me. The Shepherd named Strong Kentish Strong Ale. Uh, this is bottle conditioned. Um, six and a half percent. That's when it went in the bottle. Um, All right, right, so I'll read this to you. You just sat me staring at the bottle, it's not good. 1698, bottle conditioned candy strong air is a living product which continues to ferment in the bottle. This creates a natural sediment, just like rare ale, as it ferments in the cask in the pub. Only local hops, malted barley, glucose syrup, and water drawn from our artesian well are used to brew 1698 bottle conditioned candy strong ale. Hops are added three times, hence it's thrice hopped. Well, thrice hopped, he says. Thrice. Um, yeah, see, orb and smell, roasted, fruity, hoppy, taste, rich, fruity, warming. Now that is probably better than that. I wish I'd opened that instead to have with it, but <sighs> things are what they are, and I've got this. I think in conclusion, I would have to say these yeah they're an absolute winner can you see how they're, they're going down quite a bit now they're steadily disappearing and but this not for me it's too bitter there's too much of a bitterness after the woods which for a milk stout i find surprising now usually i can tell lactose as well But I certainly can't taste it in here. Is it creamy? Mm. It has more of a body than, say, like I said before, than a Guinness. Um, but yeah, that's a no from me. So, seven minutes, double review. I think I'll call that quit. So, if you got this far, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.